Hi everyone, in this video I will show you the 10 solution to fix card of Ragnarok D3D device crashed, the graphic device crashed on your PC. So the first solution is to update your graphic drivers. Ensure your NVIDIA or AMD graphic card drivers are updated to the latest version. Go to the NVIDIA GeForce Experience or AMD Radeon software to update your drivers. Then restore your PC, then launch the game, then see your problem is fixed or not. If this does not fix your problem, the second solution is to lower graphic settings. Sometimes high graphic setting can cause crashes. So lower the following setting, which is the shadow quality, texture, anti-aliasing, or the V-Sync. Then check. Now the third solution is to verify game files. If you are playing on PC via Steam, Epic Games, verify the game files to ensure no corruptors and the missing files and causing the crash. Right click on the game your library then go to the properties then go to the local file then click on the verify integrity of game files then check the fourth solution is to disable overclocking if your gpu or cpu is overclocked revert them to their default setting and overclocking can cause instability and result in crashes now see your problem is six or not the next step is to update DirectX and visual c plus plus redistributable make sure you have the latest DirectX and the Microsoft Visual is installed and the redistributable is installed. You can find updates on the Microsoft official website. So go to the Windows setup with the control panel and open it. Now here just click on the uninstaller program. Then here just scroll down and you have to just look for the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable 2015 to 2024 X64 or the X86. So you just need to make sure that the x64 or the x86 is installed. Now if these are not installed, you can go to the Windows setup with updates and open it. Now update your operating system. By updating your operating system, the your Windows can automatically install the Visual C++ on your PC, then simply restart your PC, then check your problem is fixed or not. Now the sixth solution is to increase your virtual memory. Increase your virtual memory to give the system more space to handle our textures or the game data. Guys, to do this, you have to go to the window search and just type here the view advanced system settings and this setting will appear on the top. So just open it. And here you will see the advanced tab, then click on the setting, then go to the advanced tab, then click on the change, then here just select the C where your operating system is installed, then click on the custom size, then uncheck this box, then go to the window search type here the calculator and simply open it and guys if you have the 16 gp of ram then multiply it with the 102 volt which is the constant value and just type this value in the initial size once you type it now just multiply it to the 3 and just type this value in the maximum size guys once you type it now if you have the 32 gp of ram then multiply it with the 1024 just type this in the initial size and just multiply it with the 3 just type this in the maximum size after that just click on the set then just click on the OK to apply the changes. Then restart your PC and then launch the game. See your problem is fixed or not. If your problem is not fixed, then run as administrator. Run this game as an administrator. Then right click on the game or the launcher of the game. Then go to the properties, compatibility and check this box or the run the program as an administrator. Then launch the game then see. If this does not fix your issue, then its solution is to disable background apps. Disable unnecessary background app like the GeForce Experience Overlay, Discord Overlay or the others that might interfere with the game. Now the nice solution is to turn off ray tracing. If your system support ray tracing, try disabling it as it may cause crashing on some systems. Now the final step is to reinstall the game. As a last resort, reinstall the game completely to ensure no files are corrupted or missing. Then simply restart your PC. Then I hope one of these solution fix your problem. And if your problem is fixed, please don't forget to like this video because this is only motivation for me. And I will see you guys in the next video. And bye bye.